Hi there. So, local by Flywheel. What is this? This is something I really wanted to show you because uh, it will make your WordPress development on your local host really, really easy. So, Flywheel is a hosting company that provides hosting solutions for your WordPress sites. And they have made this so you can start developing WordPress much easier and you can even deploy deploy that within a click to the flywheel hosting if you have one but if you don't have one never mind you can use it locally just for your clients and your own plugins and sites you can even create a live link so while you're online you can you can copy that link to your client and he can or she can view the the current state of the project so let's get go let's get going with this so just download it and then install it it will take a few minutes of your time to install everything and prepare but after that you're good to go so this is the application and i don't have any site let's create one create a new site so I would just call it like I think and if in advanced posts options I'm sorry you can set your domain I will leave it at that and I will also leave this as it is you can use a, a blueprint if you have one and what is a blueprint that's something that is directly connected to this application so if you create a site and you mark it as a blueprint then you can just whenever you create a new site click on that and they will th this application will make the complete site as it is on on the one you have chosen so we can continue we can create a custom or a preferred option the preferred one is for migrating to flywheel but if you're not you can also create a custom one i will go with custom one we can use some php versions such as this or this let's let's make it 7.1 and see what's what will happen i will create an engine annex and let's make it 5.6 so this is it then continue you can create a simple password you can create an account a wordpress email you want or leave it as it is and you can also choose if it's a multi-site and if it is how you want it to be deployed as in a subdirectory on a subdomain I will just click no and click add site so I will just pause the video now while this is preparing and I'll start over when it's done Okay, so the site, the environment has been set up and now they're just adding some few more stuff and that is actually WordPress and we are here. So we can also change the PHP vers version whenever we want and even the web server. We can also change the domain and you see here is a live link. You can stop it and restart it so let's view the site you see the like eating dot dev is here we have the admin part also so we just type and everything is here you can also add plugins let's just okay it's installed you can activate it everything works fine so what about the SSL part you can go here and you can trust it. so if this is trusted we can now go here let's load it so it's it has loaded with a regular HTTP but if we place here the HTTPS 
it works and it's a secure site so everything works fine on that part also you can you can have a mail server like this to check on your emails since we have created a simple dummy email here we can also ch check on, on it as you can see which is also great and if you go to database there I do not use the PHP my admin they are using something called ad adminer adminer or something like that I'm not sure how it's pronounced but essentially it's the same so you can click on database you can check on data and stuff like that so it's pretty much the same and as you can see with a few clicks you can have everything done right and a great option here is if you connect with other people or students you can enable the live link and you can or even hire another developer or instructor to whom you'll provide the live link and then he or she can see where the errors if you have one or something like that which is also pretty great so that's it for this lesson if you like this one then you can skip the the lessons about wordpress installing and and the local servers because you have everything here i'll just stop now and then we can move on